In this live self-defense training video, you're gonna learn how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead in the movie or the TV series, The Walking Dead. Morgan learns how to use an Aikido Joe, which is the medium-sized staff. This is 54 inches. There's a link below if you wanna see what the dimensions of this are, but it's basically a self-defense walking stick. You can use it as a martial arts staff or a walking stick. It's a hiking stick, hiking pole, whatever you wanna call it. It's basically, comes up to about where your armpit starts, right there, right at the be uh, beginning of your shoulder here. From this position, I'm gonna give you three strikes to practice in combination. These are from Aikido, using the Joe. This is a basic Joe flow move. This is something you wanna learn how to do, how to use when you're learning how to use the walking stick for self-defense. These are Joe strikes and blocks in a basic combination. You're gonna start with it in the front hand and your elbow is always gonna bend in a natural position so that it would be perpendicular, parallel to the floor, perpendicular to the staff. So your hand is here, you're standing behind it, you're going to point the thumb at the threat. That's gonna flip this up into the back hand. So from here, you put it into the back hand and you're gonna pull away first. There's a small motion where the attack's coming in and you're pulling back and then I want you to slide in with a pushing strike. It's almost like a pull cue going through your hand here. You're pushing it in and your hands are gonna turn over just a little bit. That's the first move. So we're building this combination. You push here, you pull back a little bit, slide in, push your thumb at the threat. That puts it into the back hand, pulling your body away with a small step and then sliding back in, stepping forward. You can see it in the mirror behind me as you're pushing your hands like this. Um, Dave asks, any advice for BJJ or wrestling? Yes, Dave, I've got quick advice for you. I'll show you that in just a second. From here, pull away, slide in, and then I want you to block up. So from here, your hands are gonna come just straight up like this. You're gonna come up here, blocking over your head. If, if my advice for uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Judo, I started in Judo as my first martial art. Wrestling, I wrestled in high school. I love wrestling, I love uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Thank you, Studer, for that donation. I would say practice the sprawl. If you don't know how to sprawl, I'll make you a video, but you can find better videos here on YouTube. Just S-P-R-A-W-L, practice your sprawl. Make that the first thing you practice. If you don't like slamming to the ground or going to the ground, then you're not gonna like BJJ. So practice that first, see if you like it. From here, put in the back hand, slide away, slide in with this uh, spearing motion, the ski, you're gonna push in this way, and then you're gonna pull this up here. Later, you can step off to the angle as you do this blocking motion. So your hands are simply coming from here up over your head. So that's one strike and one block. So one more time, hello student, good to see you. You have it in your front hand and you're gonna do both hands equally, so don't worry about which hand you start with. But just keep track. This is my left hand. I point my left hand at the threat. It comes into my right hand. I'm going to pull away. And as I'm pulling away, I'm pulling this out just a little bit so that I can spear and push the majority of the length, the rest of the staff, in through his face or nose or teeth or throat or solar plexus, somewhere in the center line of his body to stop his forward attack, especially if he has a weapon, especially a bladed weapon. It comes here, I pull away, I slide in, I block, and then watch what I do over my head. I'm going to slide this hand forward as this hand comes to where this hand originally was. So I was here, I'm going to switch hands here. Here, you can take it off and grab it, or as you get better, learn how to slide the hands and let them go by each other. Try not to hit the ceiling. But as they go by each other, you can practice this just lost it, just practice it over and over. Start here, practice it along the length of the staff. You'll get used to this over time, but don't overthink at the beginning. I want you to learn this combination. Start in the front hand, you're gonna pull away, spear in, block up, and then take a step. This is my right hand. Take a step of that right foot. As the right hand comes forward from the, it was here, it's coming up here, the left hand replaces the right, and I strike with that chopping strike coming to the side of his head, knock him out, make him unconscious for self-defense. Then put it in the other hand. You're going to point, pulling away, spear, block, bring this hand forward, left hand's now sliding down, 
Right hand takes the left hand's position and strike. Put it back on the floor. Now you're in the other side. So you're gonna pull away, spear, block, switch feet on the strike, put it down on the floor, pull, spear, block, chop, put it down in the front hand. That's one way that I want you to practice. I want you to do that over and over and over for like five minutes. And then once you get that changing, it's always starting from this position. And the reason is this is a walking stick for self-defense. You wanna learn how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead, you're using the Aikido Joe, which is the 54 inch staff. And then later you can use any walking stick or you can use your staff for a walking stick. And again, the link is below. This is a specially designed self-defense staff. This is made out of hickory and it hits very hard. You wanna see what the dimensions are? Look at that first link. But you're gonna do this over and over, pretend, or imagining that you're walking down the street. You have to respond, not react, respond immediately to a threat. You point the thumb, that puts it in the back hand. You spear, block, change hands, and then put in this hand. You're walking down the street, you're walking down the street, pull back, spear, block, change hands with your strike. Practice that over and over about five minutes, then start to do that combination continuously in a flow, because I want you to get the flow down with the Joe. And I know it rhymes, but it's meant to, right? So from here, I just start here one time, and then I pull one, two, oh, I just did a different technique. All right, I pull one, block, change positions, pull, strike, block, change feet, pull, strike, block, change feet. From this, position, from this angle, just so you can see it differently, I start here, I'm behind it, point the thumb. Here it comes, point the thumb, I pull away, and then I spear. Notice that I'm pushing at the same time that I'm turning this front hand over, I'm also turning this back hand up. That means when I hit, when he hit, I run into his body, when I hit him with it for self-defense, then I'm gonna be able to absorb it better like this than if I'm like this. This, I'm gonna come back and collapse. This, I'm not gonna move very much. So from this position, walking down the street, one, two, change hands, strike, and then immediately go into the other side, change hands, strike, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's a three strike combination, but really there's a fourth move. And the fourth move is getting out of the way first. So he's coming in, let's say he's coming in with, uh, let's, let's say you're Morgan from The Walking Dead, and it's a walker, a zombie, and he's coming, he's trying to grab you so he can take a chunk Take a bite out of your flesh, right? So you're going to retreat just a little and then use that, in, that uh, space that you created to accelerate that strike in through the center of his body, block his counterattack, change hands and crack his skull right open for self-defense. Uh, straight down here, this is an extremely strong strike. And notice that I'm bringing it from that shoulder. I always wanna stay behind the shoulder or stay behind my weapon. Hello, Doug, it's good to see you as I strike. Then pull, I'm on the other side, block, change hands. And then if you want, start to add that push, pull. When you come to this pull, step to the side at a slight angle. So you're going straight in and then back to the side and then come forward with the strike and then go straight in, come back to the angle, change hands, straight in, back to the side, change, straight, back to the side, change. So you're starting to go in and out, kind of like a nice Y or like a fancy kind of a curving motion, right? Or I guess it'd be a V, curving motion, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter if you get the picture. Again, from this angle, I always start in this position, front hand, I'm imagining, I'm responding to the threat, I pull away, spear, pull it up, change the hands, Pull, spear, here's off to the side, strike, pull. And by the way, when I'm, when I'm doing that first, so when you're here and you do that block, this pulls you off to the angle, you're gonna strike from this angle because he's now going here, you're out of the way. But then when I pull back on the other side, that's when I'm resetting to the center. So I just wanna make that clear if you're trying to figure out like, what, what, how's he get back to the center? It starts here and none of this is carved in stone. Make this your own drill. Do the three basic, uh, do the strike, block, strike, but do the retreat before it, and it's a small tactical retreat
because it's giving you distance to then blast, block, change hands, and strike. Push, pull. As long as you're doing one, two, three, four, then you can start to play around with your feet. Go to one side, go to the other side, do it over and over again, and practice this drill. This is the best way to learn how to fight like Morgan from The Walking Dead, using your walking stick for self-defense. I'm gonna give you more of these Joe, strike, and block combinations. One of my favorite ones that we need more uh, space for. I'm gonna bring it around, and we're gonna change in uh, the hand position from here. I'm gonna bring it around so that we can start to flow more and more and more. I'm gonna give you more of these, but I think I'm gonna do them over at the school where I'm working because the ceiling's so high and I keep making little dents in the ceiling here. I wanna stop doing that. You guys have been awesome. Again, thank you, Studer, so much. I'm gonna give you another one of these later today on a different weapon. Or it's gonna be um, martial arts training at home. I'm committed to this idea that you need to be able to defend yourself in some form or fashion and keep your body straight or healthy, keep your mind healthy. And we're going to do more of that, some stuff without the weapons later today. And then again, tomorrow, we're going to do another martial arts weapon. You guys have been awesome. Thanks, Hank. It's good to see you. Studer, thanks again. And I'll see you guys later. Hello from Columbia.